Hello, hello. Oh, hi. Hey, mine's got a camera. <laughs> yeah. Meet one of my favorite friends, Homer. Homer is one of the most awesome people I know. First of all, obviously, because his name is Homer. Secondly, I'm not sure how to describe it, but Homer has the weirdest and most beautiful brain that functions in a very unusual but amazing way. He said he's not going to watch this episode because watching himself on camera makes him feel very uncomfortable. Which is sad because I want to, amongst other things, congratulate him to growing six chest hairs within the last year. So, what can science tell me about these hairs? You're becoming a man. Yeah. <laughs> There's like six of them. <laughs> wow. And they're Since all when? Like, wired. Wire. First noticed it a year ago. What? How old are you? I'm 29. <laughs> Homer is one of the goofiest friends I have, and it's really contagious. Here we see him investing 10 minutes to get the perfect inappropriate photo. Most amazingly, this goofball is going to be one of the most talented doctors that will treat you with the best expertise and some inappropriate jokes. Homer is an extremely gifted and talented person and has always had pretty impressive hobbies, but one of his biggest passions is good food and good drinks. Probably one of those people who live from meal to meal. I always see on Facebook like all these fancy restaurants and stuff that my rich friends are going to and they're posting pictures. Rather than raging, I was like, Frank, I can probably do that. Oh, he can. Look at these pictures, he made that. And of course, he's also gifted at crafting sophisticated drinks. So after Homer moved to Vermont, he decided to open a bar in his own apartment for him and his friends. As I could tell from Facebook, Homer's bar looked pretty freaking legit. So we drove up to Vermont to check it out. Welcome! <laughs> oh shit! What's this? Again, he built this bar in his own apartment. Look at this! Homer hosted a perfect bar night with custom-made drinks. The next day, I asked him to explain to me some of his bar tools. A cobbler shaker. This is a mixing glass for stirring. So with this... Yeah, I like these. Really nice. This is called a julep strainer. This is called a Boston shaker. This is an ice ball maker. Here in the cavity. Ridiculous mass of metal here. This man knows what he's doing. This is a scientist at work. I chose engineering because I've always tinkering with things. I've always liked cars and trains and planes, robots and lasers. When I was a kid, I had like a box of Legos about like this big. And I always liked the action figures that like shot the little missiles and stuff. And engineering was the obvious choice. Homer's love for engineering evolved into, let's say, an interesting excitement for becoming a doctor. When I was working in the lab, my PI, he's actually a pretty awesome doctor, and we got to collaborate with a bunch of awesome doctors. One day while I was doing surgery, it must have been like around 6 a.m., it just kind of hit me like, oh my god, I can help people by cutting things out of people? That's awesome! So that's why I switched to medicine. Apparently, his love for engineering is one of the reasons he loves Germany. Every mechanical designer and mechanical engineer worships Germany to some degree because they have nice, simple, elegant, and robust designs. And they have quality manufacturing not found here in the United States. He even gave his bar a German name, Krankes Kuchen. When I was learning German, uh, one of the first words I learned was Kank, which means sick, and I was like, huh, well, if you're sick, I suppose you would be a little bit cranky. I thought that was hilarious. And when I was learning animal, there was this word, kuchen, and I was like, what's kuchen? And then it showed a little picture of a little, a little chicken, and I was like, ha ha, kuchen! And I thought that was awesome. It's hard for me to capture Homer's whole amazing personality in one short video, but his girlfriend Isabel has a good summary. Remember when you were a kid and you first entered this playground and you're trying to look for playmates to play with? Homer is this quiet kid in the corner. He's very unassuming, yet there's something so poignant, so sad about him. This draws you in and you approach him and you soon find out that 
this kid, unlike the other kids who are playing with the same toys and singing the same songs, is trying to build a spaceship to somewhere. I think this pretty much sums up Homer's character. Oh my. Huh? Take it, take it, take it, take it. Hoi, hoi, hoi.